John the Mouse. Most loads go without a hitch, but you get a few, like this load, you hope you'll never have to deal with this broker again. First, you get your basic info from dispatch that got it from the broker in the first place. Next, you call the broker to find out if they left anything out. Currently experiencing a high volume of calls. Please continue to hold for the next available. This is Justin with TQL. How can I help you? Well, hi there. I got a number here. I think this is reference one. 160510. All right. What can I do for you today? Well, I would like to go see about picking up there in Omaha. Oh, wait. What, what did you say your name was? That's not it. A pick, or where are you picking up from and going to? Uh, Omaha, Nebraska is supposed to be going to Livingston, Montana for a shop call. Uh, what's your carrier's name? Uh, let me see if I can locate it this way. Okay, coming out of, uh, I'm sorry, here we go. Uh, what was the city name and state you were coming, picking up in? They're picking up in Omaha, Nebraska. Nebraska, okay, and then going to? Livingston, Montana. Montana. Now, do you have your MC number? I'm just trying to make sure I have the <laughs> correct load. Okay, do you know the dispatcher's name? Yeah, yeah, there it is. I just was, I was just trying to get some of this info to make sure this was the correct load. So, but okay, yeah, so, uh, you, what can I do for you now? Now that we got the correct load. All right, well, I was wondering, see, about uh, picking this load up. Do I need a PO? Uh, yeah, you will need all that info. In fact, um, it doesn't look like this load got dispatched yet, so what I have to do is I just got to call the broker, uh, you know, get the approval to go through this little checklist real quick. It's not, it doesn't take too long, and, and then we'll, I'll be able to get you all that info for you. Oh, all right. All right, so uh, I can either put you on a brief hold real quick, or I can call you back, whichever you prefer. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to do, I guess. Okay, I'll just put you on a brief hold real quick. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, give me a sec. We're currently experiencing a high volume of calls. Please continue to hold for the next available team. Hi, right, sir, you there? Yep. Alrighty, so he gave me the approval, so bear with me. It's like it's like 10 questions. Okay. Uh, it just says, uh, you know, are you empty? Alright, uh, what's your trailer size and type? 53 foot reefer. Alright. Uh, if, and then this is just advising you, you know, if they let you count your products, it's always a good idea to count. Uh, you know, just make sure everything fit, you know, matches your bill of ladings. Uh, you know, obviously don't load any damaged product. <laughs> uh, do you have a minimum of two load locks to secure your load? Uh, all right. If you're not loaded to the back doors or to limit on weight, call TQL immediately. If the shipper applies the seal, only the receiver should break it. What is the company name on the side of your tractor? All right, uh, just a few more. You must call when you're loaded and emptied. Otherwise, you'll get a call from one of us. Uh, just updating. What's your cell number? All right, uh, and then I will give you your TQL load number here in a second. And then just the last two things are check calls are every day, including Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays, 8 to 9 a.m. Uh, and then call us 24-7 if you have any, any problems. So now you're good, now you're done with that list, and I can mark you dispatched, and I'll put your location in, and I will give you all that information. So, what do you want, do you want all this info text to you? Would that make it easier for you? It sounds like you're driving. Oh, no, I'm sitting. Like I said, I'm only 15 minutes okay. away, so it's, I'm just okay. hopping to skip away. Okay, yeah. Well, I can give you your PO number now if you want. Yep, might as well. Alrighty. So, you ready? Yep. Alright, it will be 609-3792. Okay. And then, it's always a good thing to have your, your MC number, which is on the back the side of your truck. All right, and then do you need the address to the shipping department in Omaha? Uh, it's, what I got was Johnson Brothers at uh, 9320 J Street. Is that correct? Uh, and here it shows, and here it shows 4202 South 102nd Street. 
Uh, Omaha, Nebraska, 68145. Is that the place I'm supposed to be going to? That's what, yeah, that's the directions it shows. Uh, I, I have a phone number, too, in here if you need help with the directions. It, it says they call this number as well. Okay. And that number is 402 331 2200. And I can either text you the address or I can give it to you now as well. Yeah, you might as well give it to me there. Okay. <laughs> it is 4202 South 102nd Street Omaha, Nebraska 68145. Okay. And then it looks like the uh, shipping department name that you're going to, you're going to go to is Finachero Wine, F-I-N-O-C-C-H-A-I-R-O, I guess that's how you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, and then I just got to ask, uh, you're going to be good to go to Omaha, Nebraska. You said you're 15 minutes away. That's tomorrow. And then that is a first come, first serve starting at 2 p.m. it looks like. At 2 p.m. it starts? Yeah, it says 1400. Yeah. Really? Okay. Were you told something else? Yeah, I was told at 7, but I, I tell uh, you what, none of the other information I got seems to be right, it, so. Let's see. <laughs> what, what, what is the commodity? Did they tell you what you're supposed to be picking up? Uh, just miscellaneous. All I know is I'm supposed to go to a Shopco in Livingston. Okay, yeah, shop, yeah, it does show Shopco stores in Livingston. Okay. So, yeah. So everything else, yeah. So it looks like it's all good. Now after talking with the broker, I have feeling oh. something's not right. I call the number he gave me only to find out that is the place of the first address I got. Thank you for calling Johnson Brothers of Nebraska. Our normal business hours are 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you know your party's extension, please dial in. I decide to go to the first place to see if they know more than the broker. After about 15 minutes, we have determined that it is not them and they don't know about the second address. Thank you and have a great day. Next step is to try to find the second address the broker gave me. After stopping at this place that should be the address, I went and talked to the guys inside to see if this is the place I was looking for. They tell me it's a metal shop and that it's not the place. They suggest trying the building behind them. So I head over to that place and it turns out that's not the place I'm looking for either. But they did have an idea about maybe a liquor place on 96th Street. After leaving I decided I'm done chasing this phantom place. Next step, I call my dispatch and tell him that I can't find this place the broker gave me and told him about my story so far. He should just call the broker and get it straight. After some time passes, I get a phone call saying I'm so close to the place. I answer, is it on 96th Street? No, it's not on 96th Street. It is on 102nd Street, first place after the curve from F Street. So I repeat myself and said, no, that's not it. They make steel items. They are the second place I was at, and the metal shop wasn't it. After he called the broker again and get a new pickup address and a new place to drop at, now to try the new phone number and what do you know it works I find the address and I head for the new place but after I get there they would like a number so I have to go call on the broker again for another pickup number 
because of course the number for the first two places uh, I pick up don't work to this one. The pickup time hasn't changed from the second place and drop time hasn't changed from the first address. So is the story done? No, we have a place we drop off to talk about. The broker never said anything about driving down an alley, but here I find myself stuck in the alley trying not to hit anything. After a few tries getting into the alley, wishing that the driver of the van would just park in a different spot. Apparently the person can't read, no parking from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I was able to get it into the alley, but I end up did breaking a few lug nut covers. They don't have a dock, so all the pallets had to be unloaded with a pallet jack. Then the one guy wanted me to unload the load with it. I told him that our company's insurance won't let us unload loads anymore since the guy got hurt from unloading freight with a pallet jack. Then he told me that he wouldn't use our carrier again. Maybe that was another thing the broker forgot to inform me and the company about. Feel free to leave your story about a broker. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view. Just press on the button. And if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.